and like Corey said, and with that, our match is underway. Qualification match nine, all six teams participating in their second match of the day. The first time we're seeing that during one of these matches. Right off the bat, the Blue Alliance off to a very early lead during these double point scores of that autonomous period. Yes, our sim drivers do have control of their robots, but the double point values do remain in that first 15 seconds of the match. With 18 score power cells, Blue Alliance off to a 19 point lead, now with two minutes remaining. Right off the bat four, the Red Alliance, we're seeing Adam D and Wan Yang both trying to simultaneously fire into the outer and inner ports. Many of their shots making it. Red Alliance beginning to close the gap. The Blue Alliance starting to continue to build a commanding lead. We're seeing two Red Alliance robots. That's Adam D and Wan Yang once again grabbing power cells from their loading zone. And making the trench run for the Blue Alliance is Codster. We're seeing Codster and Nicholas1902 both line up on their initiation line, firing into the outer port. Blue Alliance lead is maintained 175 to 148 with fewer than 90 seconds remaining. We're starting to see a shift in strategy by the Red Alliance. Adam D coming in to try to play defense against the Blue Alliance. They're doing a very good job being sure that their contact is not extended. Like we've seen in previous matches, contact for longer than five seconds in a robot's territory does result in a respawn and a penalty. These robots doing a very good job avoiding that respawn and the penalty that comes along with it. Fewer than, less than a minute remaining in the match. Red Alliance taking the lead for the first time, but a lead of only four points that the Blue Alliance takes right back thanks to the combined efforts of all three robots. Adam D continuing to play defense for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance still focusing on a purely offensive strategy as we enter the final 30 seconds and the end game period of our match. We see a respawn from Adam D maintaining contact just a bit too long that brought them back to the initiation line. Less than 20 seconds to go, and we're seeing the first robot, that's Nicholas1902, heading towards the shield generator switch. They're joined by Daviado and Codster. Over on the Red Alliance, we are seeing Jason4099, a few last shots before heading to the switch. Three seconds remaining, up those robots go! It does appear that all three Red Alliance robots may have been able to pull themselves off the ground. Less clear for the Blue Alliance, who will have to wait for the final score. And the final result for Qualification Match 9 going to the Blue Alliance with a final score of 393 to 357. Both the Red and Blue Alliance able to score greater than 90 power cells, meaning they will earn a bonus ranking point from energizing their shield generator. And both also able to get greater than 65 points during the end game, so they will also earn a ranking point for making that shield generator operational. What that means is four ranking points will be earned by the Blue Alliance and two for the Red. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.